Hey, what's up people, Vlad here. Tell me that this is the most unusual keyboard you have seen. This is a Volmier or XVX MK61 Coral C themed 60% keyboard. Honestly, the artwork is stunning. Every keycap is different and the artwork even continues throughout the whole case. But as usual, let's do the unboxing. It's pretty usual and standard stuff for a keyboard. Wire keycap puller, USB Type-C cable, user's manual, which actually is useful this time because it contains all the shortcuts that are activated with the function key combination on this keyboard. There is also a Coral C themed mouse pad to match the overall aesthetics of the keyboard. So feature-wise, this keyboard has quite good stuff built in it. It's wireless with the included 2.4 GHz dongle, but it has no Bluetooth support. And I don't mind the dongle as it's actually a better option because on Bluetooth keyboards you are not able to enter BIOS, for example. You can of course use it wired too and it's also worth noting because it has no Bluetooth support, you can't use it on Android or iOS devices for that matter. The dongle is neatly hidden on the underside and it's held by magnets, so you can't lose it that easily if you like to bring your keyboard, for example, everywhere with you. Right underneath the keyboard you can see that it has four rubber feet to keep it in place on the desk. And there are no inclination feet because the case is already at a perfect angle. On the back side there is an XVX branding in the middle and the Coral C theme all around the case giving it the overall immersion in the theme. In the middle there is an on-off switch and on the back side USB-C port once again directly in the middle of the keyboard. The keycaps are sculpted and they resemble the XDA profile keycaps but are slightly more convex in the middle making the typing experience so pleasant. Somehow when you type it all feels natural and good under the fingertips. The keycaps are made from PBT material but this is not the standard double injection molding. They used a dye sublimation process so pageants will not wear in time and they are also oil resistant from your fingers you know. So you know the fingertip smudges won't be seen on this, these keycaps. Since it is using standard Cherry MX style stamps, you can always change keycaps down the road, but good luck with that because it'll break the overall artwork of the whole keyboard. The battery is rated at 1850 mAh and it's positioned directly in the middle of the case. It will give you more than 10 hours of continuous use and even longer if you disable RGB. And while we are here, it has also a sleep mode and it will turn off the lights after 60 seconds of inactivity to conserve power. Oh yes, the switches. They are made by Gatoron and mine came with yellow switches. They are linear, non-tactile switches rated at 50 million keystrokes with travel distance of 4.0 millimeters, but they require 50 grams of actuation force compared to the 45 grams on red switches, for example, that the most gaming keyboards are equipped with. And of course, you can get this one as well with either red, brown or yellow switches, also made by Gatoron. It's not hot swappable, I double check this and you can see it while it's open. But if you wish to modify it, you can always do that. I would suggest at least doing the foam or tempest tape mod to it as it has a little bit of that hollow noise while typing. So hear it for yourself.
So you can hear that hollow sound that case makes, especially when the space bar is punched harder and actually any larger key for that matter. So foaming it or doing the Tempest Tape mod are the easiest ones you can do to this keyboard. The other thing I would recommend is to lubricate the stabilizers. They rattle so much for my taste, but once again, this is an easy fix and it will make it sound much better afterwards. And I'm looking at you spacebar. Of course, it has RGB, hardly any device nowadays will come without RGB. To be precise, it has 19 predefined lighting modes and 9 different static colors to choose from. You can control all of these through the software and you can also make per key RGB adjustments as well. The software also allows you to record macros and create custom profiles. You can have up to 3 profiles. The light brightness has 4 levels and it's not that bright at night, which is actually a good thing, so let's say it has a good amount of light. I would suggest that you read the included manual to see which key is used with the function key combo, so you can change lightning modes with it, increase or decrease brightness, and also change the effects and so on. As there are no legends on the keycaps themselves which function it has, in my opinion this is a drawback for some users. You would have to learn this and memorize it, which key is which, and it takes some time to get used to. Here are some things that I have found that maybe irritates me a little bit. It has no dedicated arrow keys and this might be hard for some people to get used to because function in IJKL acts as arrows. Oddly, it's not WASD, but at least there is that option. And also this toggles it, so once you press the FN and I key for example, afterwards I, J, K and L will remain arrows, it's kind of annoying, but there it is. The USB dongle has good coverage, but it's best to be kept at closer range to the keyboard, There's, there might be slight hiccups here and there and it won't register a key, so this happens if the dongle is more than 2 meters away, so keep it close and you're okay. The delete key is used with function plus backspace, but there are no home and then insert shortcuts. I miss those because I use those keys a lot. All in all, this keyboard retails for 74 US dollars on Amazon. It's a regular price nowadays for a 60% mechanical keyboard with die sublimated PBT keycaps and Gateron switches. The build quality is justified, but there are places like stabilizers, for example, where the XVX or Vomir need to pay attention to to fix this in future releases. The addition of the mouse pad is also nice, so you can round the whole Coral C team in your setup. Hope you liked the video guys, if you have any questions, shoot them down there, sub to the channel, like and share the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!